Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, I'm now answering a question from a old C34 paper from January 2015. Um, this is question six, part two. Six, part one will be in a separate video. Okay, six, part two here is a question that I took for a P4 exam that I gave my students, which is called P4 practice paper from January 2015. And it's related to uh, differentiation of P4. And um, this is about related rates of change. And um, in this question, it says the volume of a cube is increasing at a constant rate of two centimeters cubed per second. So it's increasing at a constant rate of two centimeters cubed per second. We've got to find the rate at which the length of the cube the edge of the cube is increasing when the volume of the cube is 64 centimeters cubed. So first of all, we see what they gave us. They gave us the rate of change um, of the volume with respect to time. So we have what they gave us is dv dt. That's the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. And that's two centimeters cubed per second. That's what they gave us. And they want us to find the rate at which the length of the edge of the cube is increasing. Okay, so they want us to find the, the, the rate of change of the length of the cube with respect to time. So they want us to find, um, let's say the length of the edge of the cube is L. So what we'll do is we'll define here, we'll make a little def definition here, that um, the length of the cube edge is L. Let's call it L. So they want us to find, okay, they have to, we are asked to find DL DT. Okay, this is what we want to find. And we know we want to find DL DT when the volume is equal to 64 centimeters cubed. That's what we want to find. So we're asked to find DL DT and they gave us DV DT. So let's try and figure out how we can do this. So what we do is we say we write down what we have to find, DL DT. I need an expression for dl dt and you write down what they gave us we know what dv dt is so i'm going to write this down in terms as as dv dt first and eventually i'll replace it with two now i have to think about what i need to multiply dv dt by so i end up with dl dt i end up with dl dt okay so the dt has to stay here that's fine right but i need to get rid of this dv and I want to end up with DL on the numerator. So if I write this as, if I think about it as um, in the denominator, I need to write on here what will get rid of this DV. So this is going to be DV over here. And in the numerator, I want to write what I need to be left with, which is DL. Okay, so when I multiply these together, the DVs will cancel. And I'll be left with DL DT. So DL DT is the same as DV DT times DL DV. DL DV. So I need to find what DL DV is. DL DV. Now, that means I need to have an expression for the volume of this cube in terms of the cube length, the edge. Now we know a cube is a cube. All the lengths are the same in a cube. All right. So all the lengths are the same in a cube. So the the volume of a cube is basically just L cubed. You have L L L. So the volume is equal to L cubed. So we know V is equal to L cubed. So I can find an expression for DV DL. DV DL is 3L cubed, squared, sorry, 3L squared. So I can write this as, um, we want DL DV. Now DL DV is going to be the reciprocal of that, which is 1 over 3L squared. So now I know DV DT is 2. So I can say DL DT, which is what we have to find, is equal to DV DT, which is 2, times... 1 over 3L squared, because that's DL DV. So therefore, we can say an expression for DL DT is 2 over 3 times the length of the cube squared. And I want to find um, when the volume is 64. All right, so now I want to find what this is when the volume is 64. But there's no V in my expression. So when the volume is 64, okay, at that point, we know that the volume is equal to L cubed. So therefore, L cubed is equal to 64. So we can find what L is. L is the cube root of 64. And we know that 64, no, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So L is equal to 4 centimeters. So we want to find the L dt 
basically when L is 4. Because when V is 64, L is 4. So the L dt is going to be 2 over 3 times 4 squared, which is 2 over 3 times 16, which is 48. So therefore, we can say the L dt in its simplest form is going to be 1 over 24. And this is centimeters per second. All right, there's the answer to this question. Related rates of change. It's related to differentiation in um, P4. All right. So this, I think, was question number um, three from the um, test I gave the students from the practice paper of January 2015, P4. Right, but I took this from this paper, C34 of January 2015. It's question six, part two. Part one, um, if anybody wants me to answer it, that will be on a separate video. Okay, because this is for the playlist for that paper I gave my students. So that concludes this question six, part two from January 2015, C34, International A-Level at Excel. Other questions from this particular paper here, C34, January 2015, I'll put in the playlist over here. Other questions from the practice paper that I gave, um, it will be in the playlist over here. And other questions dealing with differentiation from P4 in the playlist in this area. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.